Yeah, there we go. Today we have an interesting new challenge from Stefan. He was commenting the most recent video on our YouTube channel and saying, Hi Shanks, I have a new challenge for you. If you accept it, of course I will accept it. In BFME 1, you have to play only with the Alvin army, Rohan faction, which includes Alvin archers, also swordsmen, and Legolas and Treebeard as heroes. From the buildings, you can build everything except the Rohan stables. Also, you have to buy human archers to improve archer range, but you have to sacrifice them right away. Don't attack with them or use them for scouting. If you start with the peasants, you have to also sacrifice them without scouting. If it is too difficult, you can also buy Aragorn as a hero because he lived with the elves. Once uh, of the spells, you can only use elven spells, healing, elven wood, summoning elven allies, cloud breaking and summoning end allies. If you use Aragorn, you can buy from spells Anduril because Elrond forged it, but not army of the dead from Aragorn also. You can buy all upgrades for elven warriors, fire arrows, blah, blah, blah. You can choose how many enemies you want to fight, but not less than five. That means uh, fields with six or eight players, but they can only be Mordor or Isengard on heart. Challenge accepted. Let's get it started. We're gonna play Battle for Middle of One as Rohan on the beautiful map Old Brown Lands against seven art armies, of course. And every single one of these is going to be Mordor. So let's do that. Wish me luck. And yeah, that's going to be a quite interesting one. Mordor only, heart army only, and we are Rohan, but we will be pretty much playing the Alvin faction because we are not able to recruit the Rohan heroes like Tyrion, Elmia, Elvin, Gimli. They cannot be recruited, and we are also not allowed to build the stable. That means no Rohirrim, no Rohirrim archers. So it's going to be kind of difficult, but we will make it work. I'm assuming we are also not allowed to recruit Mary, which is kind of bad because, you know, I would love to capture those mills next to our base, but I believe we are not allowed to do that. So rules are rules. We, have the new bomb. Uh, we need to recruit one pass. Uh, we cannot recruit peasants either. So let's not do that. We can also pick up the heal from the spell book. I'm going to try also to win without Aragorn, even though I don't think that this, this is going to be possible because we need some sort of leadership, right? And Legolas, even though he's a very strong hero, doesn't provide any leadership which is going to make our elven archers deal a bit more damage and remember we will have to eventually kill a lot of trolls catapults and nazgûls including the mighty witch king so long story short it's going to be kind of difficult and i believe we will also need to build the archer range a bit faster to recruit some archers to at least grab those settlements outside so yeah these are some strict rules we need to follow and yeah Rohan is also in a in a bad spot in those kind of situations just because you have only seven spots inside your castle while Isengard and Mordor have eight and Gondor has nine and without Elmer and his uh, outlaw leadership which is gonna give us money for every uh, killed enemy unit we will also kind of be broke all the time until we will be able to get at least the second castle under our control so we need to recruit two of these to get our archer range to level two and then we will be Hopefully able to recruit some Alvin warriors. And the, you see the problem, guys, right? We have only 80 command points available, right? And that means we can only recruit three of them. And now you will say, but Shanks, 20 times 4 is 80. But hold on a second, because Legolas also costs you five command points. So three of them, six plus this, 65. That means we have no space anymore for the fourth one. We pick up our bows for Rohan. For Rohan. So I'm not going to scout. I'm going to actually grab those settlements and send them right into the enemy castle. This way they can die. We can build also now more farms. I mean, I gotta capture this with something, right? <laughs> These farms. But at least I'm following the rules. I'm not attacking with them. Or also not scouting. Because these spots are already visible for me. So let's build another farm. And now I would love to save for Legolas first. Before anything else. Very important. Very, very, uh, you know, strong hero. Legolas, the prince of the Mirkwood Elves. The son of Thranduil. However, without the three hunters or the two other hunters next to his side, I don't think he's gonna be having like a huge impact. Legolas's damage against units is kind of insane, but against buildings, and that's going to be our main target, right? It's going to be kind of bad. Oh my goodness. Close the gate, close the gate, close the gate. Okay, so yeah, long story short, we, <laughs> we, will, not, we will not be able to keep those farms outside protected, not even for a little bit. And hopefully they won't recruit any siege weapons anytime soon or Nazgûls. Because if you don't know, the Heart Army is designed like that. If there is going to be a Nazgûl on the field, he's going to always target our Citadel first. And, you know, that's kind of annoying. But until 
Mordor is going to recruit some siege weapons. We should be kind of in a good spot. We see multiple eyes of Sauron, of course, you know, lurking around the area, scouting. And we are not able to do anything about the situation because we will only be able to recruit one of the most expensive heroes from Rohan and that is, of course, Legolas. So Legolas uh, alone, I don't know if he's going to be enough to save us. And again, the main problem is going to be those Mordor catapults later on. So, you know, in order to kill them, you need melee units. And elves with swords are very immobile. They are kind of slow and not the best idea in the world. So we need to micro a lot. We need to always move to not get shot by the enemy Mordor catapult. So the farm is going down. Oh boy. Um, yeah, you look our money, dude. We are kind of broke already. So let's build a postan gate here. Because look, if we open the gate, GG, you know. This way. Okay, Legolas, it's your time to shine, my dude. Legolas against the world, boys. Legolas against the world. So let's beat them until they come to this spot. We improved the archery range. So I'm not gonna, I'm not able to fight with them. So I'm gonna just send them to the mortal ways. So they can die right off the bat, you know? And now we will be able to actually, you know what? We need to build another tower. Towers were not one of the rules, though. Okay, we gotta kill those archers first. Oh, no, 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 oh, no, no, don't fight, don't fight. I don't want to break the rules, you know what I'm saying? So we gotta kill those archers first before anything else. We've also healed from the spellbook in the worst case scenario. Of course, we could also, if you want to, build a well inside our base, but I'm assuming we won't have the money for that. Okay, let's not risk the biscuit, let's just go inside the jeans, okay? Because there are just so many units, look how many orcs he has on the field. Holy quackamole. Okay, we have one power point collected. Yeah, I mean, now recruiting elven warriors is kind of a bad idea because without elven armor or the heavy armor from the Rohan armory, they will die in one shot. And once again, this is this challenge doesn't give us the chance to recruit any leadership. So no Teodin. And Teodin is a massively important hero for the Rohan faction, especially because he's giving you 50% damage and 50% armor. And without that, oof, look how many golems are there. <laughs> Golem party boys, do you see that? Oh my goodness, I've never seen this many golems at the same, you know, time at the same place. Golems for days, boys. Look, imagine they are saying my precious at the very same time. But again, until um, until he has some siege weapons, we are kind of in a good spot. And I am afraid we will also definitely need to, you know, get Aragorn on the field. Without Aragorn... It's going to be nearly impossible. I mean, I'm going to try without Aragorn, but I'm assuming that this is going to just like not be possible. Aragorn is tanky, so we can send him always inside the enemy base. This way he can tank the arrows from the buildings, but also provide us with 50% additional damage leadership, which is going to be kind of crucial for us and uh, very needed in order to be able to burst down the enemy units slash catapult slash buildings. Okay, wait a second. Let's fly like brothers. Fly, fly like brothers. Okay, we are getting power points. We have now enough for the Elven allies. And remember, Elven allies is loud. Hold on a second. I don't want to risk the biscuit. If we lose our Legolas, holy moly, we are doomed, you know? So now we can also buy Fire Arrow first. Legolas will, of course, level up like crazy. I mean, he will ki kill countless amount of units all the time. Our Elven warriors are goners already. Okay, we got to peel back. Because the Haradrims, they will hit like a truck. So, peel back. Okay, so. Yeah, the second upgrades are going to be purchased. And with that, on, I mean only the Forge Blades. Because we have already purchased the Banner and the Heavy Armor. We will demolish that building and build a well, I'm assuming. Because, I mean, look at the situation, guys. We are not even able to leave our base yet. That's crazy. We can build one more tower, maybe. Because there are just so many units. And... Also, without the army of the dead from the spellbook. Uh, that's also kind of, you know... It's your uh, pretty much when you're playing good factions like Gondor and Rohan, oh, army of the dead is your biggest win condition. So, every upgrade is purchased. That's great. Now we can start recruiting finally some units. Build a well. And also, Alvin Warriors, they are so expensive. They cost 700 each. Which is not a big problem later on, but early on it's just crazy amount of money you need to invest into that, you know? So, yeah, let's go out, use Hog Strike and go inside again, I'm assuming. That's the, that's what all we can do. Back, 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 run, you fool. All right. We must protect the woods. We must protect the woods. And also Fire Arrow, boys, holy moly, 500 has to be invested. 300 for the banner. 
Oh, he has trolls already? Oh, he was... Oh, I didn't even pay attention. He is trying to break the wall. Or break the gate, rather. They have three power points collected. I'm assuming we, we need to, to just wait for the end allies. So let's give them fire first. And also, if you don't know, the Trina Arches from Legolas is able to level up the Yeoman Arches from level 1 to level 3, but it's nearly not as effective on the Alvin Warrior. So you can only give them half a level. Oh, there comes an Asgul. Please. Oh, catapults too? Oh, Screech. Oh my goodness. They're gonna kill him. Nice, they're gonna kill him. But there, there begins the siege, boys. So it begins. Holy moly. Oh, he has multiple catapults, right? Yeah, it's a matter of time. He will go inside the jeans. And now, what is the plan? So I'm assuming we have to... Wait for the end allies. That's the only possible way. Let's kill this Nazgul with the help of Legolas. Let's use three archers. You see how long it takes for the Elven warriors to actually kill this Nazgul? Because without leadership, it's kind of impossible to do that. Look how many catapults he's sending inside the jeans, boys. We gotta build more more towers. Even the towers are kind of useless against. You see how long it takes for us to destroy one of the catapults all alone? That's scary. And more Nazgûls, of course, are coming. Use Hulk Strike, please. Let's use Heal here. Look how long it takes for us to destroy that, man. That's crazy, my dude. On more Nazgûls, of course. And catapults are just killing full battalion. Just why not? Oh, my goodness. Let's give them Bleeds. And let's try to get to those catapults with the Elven Warriors with the sword. City is gone, of course. Legolas, please do something about that. We gotta kill those catapults with the Alvin Warriors. We have eight power points collected. We can go for the end ally summon. Oh, be careful with the Alvin Warriors. Can you get away? Are they fast enough? We gotta save him. That's a very expensive unit. Uh, ends, please. Where are the ends? Ends, ends, go, go, go. Okay, there is even a <laughs> ladder, you know? Let's use the arrow wind from Legolas. Holy quackamel. We thought Katas, we could be defending ourselves a little bit longer. But with Katas, it's almost impossible. So let's go inside. They are burning, man. They are just taking so much damage. Holy moly. Okay, we got one more catapult down. It's amazing. Of course, we gotta revive the fortress or the citadel, rather. Yeah, Katas are painful. Let me tell you that much. Kill this, please. There we go. One shot it. Ends are luckily for us pretty strong, but they are also very vulnerable against the fire from the catapults of Mordor. So yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> what can I say, dude? What can I say? Very, very, very bad. Not looking good for us, boys. Let me tell you that much. Even Witch King of Engmar is on his tail beast. Let's use and even more are coming. They are coming. Let them come. I mean, not not really. We got. We need Aragorn. We need Aragorn. Definitely, we need Aragorn. Look how tanky this guy is. You know. Okay, we killed it. Look, Legolas damage. Pew, pew, pew. Legolas hitting like a truck. There are double Witch King boys. Double Witch King, double trouble. Don't lose Legolas. That's our most important, most valuable unit at this point. We need more cut, uh, more towers, though. This Witch King is so tanky. And he has now Fire Arrow even on his... Uh, oh my goodness, man. Yeah, we have a lot of power points, but what's the matter if you cannot use them? We need Cloud Break now. Let's use Cloud Break, actually. To act kind of slow them down a little bit. And now we need to move out and kill those Catapults. And I would say let's stall until the Army of the Dead, but that's also against the rules. So without Army of the Dead, how can we win this? They will not get past me. Maybe 7 is a little bit too much. Maybe we should be playing against 5 instead. We must not there they are. There they are. So let's move on. Here. Dodge the catapult shot this and then attack. They will not let's get move past again. Me. And like, oh, he was hitting it. Oh boy. Back to the castle walls. The yeah, that just us. takes too much time for us. It just takes too much time for us to kill those catapults without the leadership of Aragorn. And look what at this Elven Warriors. They die in no time. I've, oh, they... Ah, it's pointless. Pointless. They are just too weak. Did I miss it? Oh, yeah, I missed it. Yeah, he's gonna just kill all my Elven Warriors, right? Legolas hitting very hard, but... 
The city is going down. That means another 1,000 has to be now invested into... Yeah. Legolas, you gotta, do, you gotta do stuff, my friend. Where is the catapult at? Legolas, the knife fighter. Go inside the jeans, my dude. Go inside the jeans. Oh, please. I will not take long. Try, 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 Legolas. Okay, finally. Yeah, the problem in BFME 1 is that your Elven Warriors... And, you know, again, BFME 1 works with the leadership system. And without leadership, your damage output with any unit, pretty much, even trolls, is, like, bad, you know? And when you cannot kill those catapults in time, they will one-shot your entire army. We have 4,200, but what's the matter, you know? We can not... I sense get a minute to reveal what we need. And also, towers are very bad. There is another Nazgul coming. Let's use Hulk Strike on him. Look how, how long it takes for us to kill a Nazgul, you know? Even with Legolas, it takes ages. Can you please use... Look, when we lose this Elven Warrior, that's horrible. And, of course, there are seven different Mordors, so he's gonna get a lot... Please kill this before he kills our thing. Okay, we killed it. And there is the Witch King, boys. Uh, yeah, let's use this. Yeah, the, the arrow volley is looking like a truck. It's very good. Now we gotta kill this dude right after. Aragorn has to be recruited the second the Zita is up on the field. We have luckily the Anduril sword. We can also get uh, the Alvin wood. Now, of course, army after that is not allowed. Aragorn, please, oh, we can recruit one more Alvin warrior. We need some levels on them. Let's use train archers. Maybe with, le with some levels, we can do something. We can make something happen. Okay. So, yeah. We are struggling, boys. We are struggling. Look how many eyes. He's scouting us all the time. He has permanent vision on us, pretty much. Aragorn, please. The king, we need you. We need also more elven warriors. And, of course, one of the bigger problems is that we have only 80 available command points. It means we have only three elven warriors. That's it, you know? But until he has some siege weapons coming, we should be good to go. And we need to defeat one of them ASAP. And I'm assuming we, got, we need to wait until... Oh, wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. We need to wait until the next end summon. Aragorn, that's good. Aragorn is here with Anduri's sword. Let's use the ends with the swords. And Aragorn, you also go and kill those catapults, please. Now, in the meantime, let's give them all the upgrades they need. Kill those Nazgul's. Now we have lots of Elven Warriors. Hopefully we will, be, we will be able to do that. Kill this Aragorn. Nice. And again, we are not able to use the army after that from Aragorn either. You know what I'm saying? So let's group. Let's not take too much damage. Just kill the catapults with Aragorn. And now we gotta be patient until our end summon. And with the end summon, we will have to try to defeat one of our opponents, guys. That's our best bet. Now we also need to build some more towers. If we leave our base, we need to have some sort of protection, of course. Repairing the gate is kind of pointless because he will just get another uh, troll or um, ram. I mean, Mordor generally is like a siege faction, you know? There are so many units from Mordor that can break the gate. Trolls, Mumma kills, catapults, rams, like so much. Okay, so basically, now, hold on a second, let's use this one, this one first. I will go with you to the end. That's nice to hear, Aragorn, because the end might be real, really, really close. Hopefully, we will win this one, but it, not, it doesn't look good, boys. It doesn't look good. I'm, I'm, oh, look, catapult. Oh, my goodness, you gotta love to see that. And there is a Nazgul protecting and guarding it, of course. You see our, our damage output? Oh, he just killed his own catapult. Luckily, Aragorn is sick, you know? So, basically, I need to say, without Aragorn, I believe it's kind of impossible. Look how much damage our Aragorn is taking, too. What is what is damaging him so much? Holy moly. Please kill this Nazgul already, man. Aragorn needs to stay close to the Elven Warriors to give them more leadership, damage leadership. Okay, I don't want to waste my heal yet. We might need that to finish off the beast. We will need levels. We will need every Elven Warrior to be level 10. Blitz is kind of pointless because in the melee range, they're going to die even faster, you know? So we got to keep our distance. Oh, no, 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 no. Dodge, 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 dodge. So let's use our Elven Wood offensively right here. Come on, please. Can I use it? There we go. We got to kill the Siege Wars, boys. We need to summon the Ents. And kill the Siege Wars. Oh, there is the Witch King. Slay him. More are coming. Let's use heal here. 
Oh my goodness, man. Look how many catapults he has. You see that? You see, like, this is like the combination of this many Nazgul's catapults. And of course, bunch of units, Haradrims, and stuff like that is just scary. Scary as hell. So we gotta kill this ASAP. We have 10 power points collected, but what's the matter if we cannot use them? So we gotta, we need to make sure that our base is in a safe spot. Aragorn, the one man army, you gotta make something happen, bro. Please kill this. That's all I'm asking you for. Aragorn use Blade Master. Now I'm gonna show you guys the power of Aragorn. Hit, hit, hit. Alvin Warriors, can you please kill this? Look, I'm gonna show you guys the power of Aragorn now. Watch. Oh, there, here's one more catapult. You see? With the right click, we can reset his auto attack. You see how fast he's hitting? Dude, Aragorn is like a one man army. I like that, you know? We killed this, but more Nazgul's are, of course, coming. Let's use Cloudbreak. Aragorn has to use Atelas. He's taking so much damage. And it looks like and this is not gonna be the attack which will finish off our opening so we gotta peel back and recruit the only unit we are allowed to recruit and that's of course yeah uh the alvin warriors without leadership i mean they have aragon leadership now and also look how many golems, golems we are killing too they have aragon leadership and the alvin wood also provides us with additional armor leadership but that's pretty much it and even with that they are not hitting very hard so let's use the, this alvin warriors in the meantime to make sure that they are tanking the damage. Let's destroy this foe. Be careful. Oh, I missed it. Be gone, fell beast. Aragorn, can you do it? Atelas is on cooldown, heal is on cooldown. We are pretty much playing with fire now. Losing Aragorn would be really bad for us. Okay, let's kill. Atelas is on cooldown, though. We need more Elven Warriors, boys. Kill this. I mean, we are just trying to fish experience now. He has used Darkness, so let's peel back. The only good thing about the Elven Warriors is they have, like, a long range and they are mobile. So they are quite fast for hitting and running. Ready, Elves. So let's peel back to, the, to this. Yeah, we need to play around our cooldowns, you know? So now we were actually able to deal a decent amount of, great, a decent amount of damage to this Mordor next to us. And hopefully with the next attack, we might be able to finish him off. Be ready. Have your weapons ready, elves. So now we should also be able to our extend our command be points. Defended. Because we were able to save a couple of these units, right? So... Okay. So you will see now, we will be able to extend our command points. We will have more than 80. As those units are recovering over time. Which is good. You, you see that? And powerpoint wise, yeah, we are not able to pick anything else. <laughs> Oh boy, you guys. Come on now. Come on now. Stand, man of the West. Oh, let's build some more towers because we will, you know, have to leave this base now permanently, pretty much. Yeah, he's, these guys are not sending any catapults. I'm down. I'm, I'm good. Without catapults, they can't achieve too much against our defense. But uh, siege weapons, generally, including the ladders, of course, and the rams, they are kind of almost invincible against uh, our arrows against our towers unless they have like the fire even then you, you have seen yourself how long time it is needed um to kill one of these siege works or one of these catapults rather we must move on okay so aragorn is going to be sent inside now we have atelas from the spellbook and also we have of course the heal from uh, the our spellbook so we have double heal for aragorn again right click right click right click right click right click Ains are still on cooldown. And Elven Warriors, you see how long time they need to actually kill one of the buildings only. But Aragorn, luckily. <laughs> Aragorn is like, when you have like three Aragons, I believe you can win the game solo. You know what I'm saying? Aragorn is just like crazy. Like if you have three of them and you have like Atelas three times, so you can have like permanent sustain. You can use Atelas, then use Atelas like a minute later from the second Aragorn. And by the time you use the third Atelas from the third Aragorn, the first Arag Aragorn is gonna have Atelas back again. So you can like stay there and permanently tank anything and just hit like a truck pretty much 24 7 and good luck dealing with that you know what i'm saying now you just use atelas boom you get like 50 percent health back just like that and this mordor next to us is going to be defeated first great our next target boys is going to be the mordor at the bottom right side okay boom 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 nice the music in the background and Mordor, it is not your day, as Aragorn would like to say. The day may come when the elves 
can succeed, but it is not this day. This day we defeat one of the hard armies. But of course, this is not going to be enough. Luckily, we were able to buy this castle, which means more economical advantage. And also, just like, you know, one less opening to deal with. So pretty good. Overall, let's build at least one tower on each side. Let's build multiple farms to make sure that we have enough and great amount of resource income. Now we can build a post and get behind and just build two more towers on each side, okay? So now, in order to not be attacked from, from behind, we need to target this Mordor at the bottom right side first. So Aragorn, we can also use train arches the second it's available, just like that. Hey, Legolas, what, what are you doing? Drive them back. Boom, boom, boom. Level, level seven, one of them, that's good. Now we have also Cloud Break. And ends are almost back up. And um, yeah, also we need, we will definitely need to build some end moods later on once we have enough money to do that, you know. But ends are kind of too, too expensive. Hey, 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 Witch King! How many nice woods are here? Holy moly! Let's use also the Alvin Wood right off the bat. Oh, he's trying to kill our Aragon. Luckily for us, Aragon is just too tanky to be killed like that. And this Mordor, very important and very good, has no siege weapons, no siege weapons. Remember, the AI in Battle for Middle Earth 1 doesn't know how to replace the building, so they are not allowed or they are not able to de demolish one of the buildings and replace it with siege wars, for example, you know? So sometimes you are lucky that some of them are not building siege wars, which is, of course, absolutely a nightmare. And we split it now. You go here, you go here, you go here, you go here. Ends are, of course, siege weapons. That means they will deal great amount of damage to the buildings as well. Just like Aragon. You can right-click multiple times to reset. This way you will hit extremely fast. And also extremely hard, of course. That's great, boys. Now... They are doing a phenomenal job, to be honest with you. And if you enjoy this kind of content, guys, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to this channel, as this channel is almost dedicated to the Battle for Middle-earth games. Haha, <laughs> 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 we destroyed them. Hard Army has been defeated. That's great. But, of course, that's only the beginning. We need more than that. So let's, let's buy this castle. And you see, the more opponents you defeat, the more available command points you will get. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Be close to get yes. Okay. Is this is our road. Um basically we will need more farms. Even with the second castle, you can see our money isn't looking that great. Since we also need to invest money into buying the second castle, of course, or the third castle rather. And building more farms. Hey, it's but right it's here. a great investment for later on. So later on, once those farms are level 2, level 3, we should never have any more resource problems and we should be indeed able to build multiple end moods to keep the pressure up. So basically, whenever the train arch is available from Legolas, we can use it. It's free experience for the units, just why not? But again, it's much more efficient on units like Yeoman Arches, but not that efficient on units like Alvin Warriors. We shall not fall! Okay, now, the Mordor on the right side is going to be our next target. We have nothing up from the spellbook, but we have heal for Aragorn, we have also Atelas. Oh, 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 kill this. The Nazgul store. Look how long it takes for us to destroy the Nazgul with Legolas being level 10 and a bunch of elven warriors. Holy moly, and catapult this, yeah? So Aragorn, you gotta move, my friend. Aragorn luckily will hit like a truck against those catapults. So he has even more than that. Let's use Blade Master. And Attilas as well. Boom. For a sustain. We gotta kill those catapults for us. That's what we gotta do. Oh, he has so many of them though. Aragorn, please. Okay, he's one-shotting them. Very good. Boom. Oh my goodness. Our units are also quite low. Attack him quickly. Let's use Elvin Wood for a for more DP. Oh my goodness. Hold on a second. So basically what we need to do is we need to group now first with everyone and use heal. You know? So Aragon is also getting healed, very important. Okay, Aragon has no Atelas and he was pretty low. With Aragon, we need to now kill this last catapult, very important also. 
And then kill this Swish Warg so he's not allowed to get even more catapults on the field. Clean Arches, just why not? Kill this, Aragorn, please. Right click, right click. Like a track picking match. Very good, very good. So now we can also summon this Elven Warriors, which are good against enemy units, but not that great against enemy buildings. But we can we can use this sword because we can afford to lose them, right? And we can also just get more units on the field at the very same time. Aragorn, Araton Sun, the one man army of Middle Earth. Look how long time it takes to destroy one of the Orc pits, dude. Again, leadership based game, and without damage leadership, elves, even when they are highly leveled, doesn't don't deal the damage they need. Look, it's a level three orc pit of course, but still, you know, like many many Alvin warriors are shooting it down. Aragorn, use Bleed Master. Okay, one shot. Not even close, baby. Calculate it. <laughs> he thought he had me. You know what I'm saying? He thought he had me. Aragorn, dude, my favorite. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Aragorn's damage, my dude. That's crazy, dude. Oh, Bleed Master is gone, though. Now we gotta be careful. We are also being chased and hunted by this. Okay, let's peel back. Let's peel back. Can you please kill this? Aragorn, Aragorn. Don't die. I'm telling you. Let's use Cloud Break to stun them. What is happening in the meantime? We are in a good spot on each side. Oh, there is a level. Th this is level three. Level three buildings from evil factions are also able to shoot. You know. Look how long it takes for the Elven Warriors, my friend. Please, Aragorn, we need you. Healthy. Now they have 50% more damage, and even now, the damage output isn't the greatest. But look our money now, luckily. We have over 24,000 resources collected, boys, which is amazing. And uh, we will be able to build multiple end moods. And luckily, end moods... They will always spawn four ends. Are we gonna die to this tower? No way, right? No way. I don't want to even use heal for that. Let's save up the heal. Let's bring some more reinforcements to this area. And also this Mordor has been defeated. Which is, of course, amazing. So let's buy this. So our opponent is not able to buy this. Okay. Oh, never mind. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, yeah. He's not... <laughs> Allowing us to leave our base. Be Aragorn, don't die. Oh, if he would attack the Aragorn instead. We had heal. I mean, he does know that, of course. Now we are talking. Please don't attack our Aragorn. I don't want to heal. Yeah, they are always like, for whatever reason, desperately trying to kill our town center or our city. I am town center, by the way. I'm uh, playing now Age of Empires 4 in the last two weeks. And all of a sudden... I'm starting to say town center. Oh, what happened to this? You see, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, the pressure with the Nazguls all alone is kind of insane. So, let's build some more towers at the very same time. Also here. Luckily, we have still a decent amount of money. Okay, we, we need to try to group my... Oh, my goodness. Please, stop it. Our towers. They are not enough. Okay, so let's use train arches one more time. They are really close for level 9 or level 10, rather. So now, let's go out. Aragorn is almost back to full HP. We have also Arag Aragorn's Attila's and heal from the spellbook. So long story short, he will be quite tanky. And we can use him for a long time. Now we can build also a end mode right here. And combine that with the end allies from the spellbook for the last march of the ends. As Trivet would like to see, come my friends. The ends are going to war. Okay, one of them has been taken down. Witch King, please. I know you are more tanky, but just, just, okay, just die. Nothing shall stand before us. Hold on, let's buy this farm. More money never hurts. Okay, so, oh, even more Nazgûs. Or oh, the Witch King is still alive, that's what it is, okay? The Sudal is gone, but he's gonna die now for that, right? Nice, yeah, dead. Okay, nice, nice. Now we can replace it. Let's group all the Alban warriors together to have a bit stronger army. Wait for the end mood. In the meantime, we can also destroy this mill and build another end mood right in front of his face. Aragorn is just having his speech, you know, at the Black Gate. End mood is almost up. And we are command points kept. Of course, it means we cannot recruit anything. But maybe we can recruit Tribute. Yeah, Tribute doesn't cost any command points. That's great. 
Go, go, Ants. Go, go. Oh, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Abort mission. Aragorn, you do you, my friend. You do you. Oh, he has also a troll. But no problem. Aragorn, I will show you guys the power of Aragorn. Oh, he has so many trolls, actually. Holy moly. Yeah, hurt yourself. Hurt yourself. Aragorn, you just ignore them all. all and go for the catapults. And Ants, my friend, you just destroy... Yeah, Aragorn is just hitting like a truck against anything, you know? Now bring bring reinforcements. Let's summon more ants behind. Aragorn is level 9, but uh, nothing has changed for us because we are not allowed and able to use the army of the dead. Also not from Aragorn. Aragorn, please. Look, the ants are dying in no time. Look, this drama troll, though. Hitting very hard. Let's kill this. Okay. Let's kill this catapult, Aragorn. I mean, he has many, a little, uh, he has a little bit too many Nazgûls for my taste. Like a lot of Nazgûls are here. Hopefully, we will be able to kill him, kill them in time. Let's use the Alvin allies. Don't lose Aragorn, please. Okay. Kill this Witch King, nice. Okay. So we killed this catapult. We killed his um, Citadel, and also we killed his Siege Ward. It's very important. This way, he won't be able to produce any more yes. catapults anytime soon. We have also the heal from the from Aragon. Three beard is also now on the field. That's good. Now we can build another end mood right here. Middle Earth depends on us. He's sending in the trolls, but what can they do against such a reckless elven army? The answer is nothing. So Aragon, go inside again. Now you are a, a little bit healthier. And if you don't know, Three Beard is also able to give leadership to the nearby end. So 50% armor, 20% 20 more range, and 25% more movement speed. And speed is very important on these ends since they are extremely slow. And 20% is actually a quite decent path to make them move a little bit faster. Not as much as you think, because 20% from like 5 movement speed is still low, you know? Kill this Aragon and go out. Not even close, baby. The experience, you know what I'm saying? I'm experienced playing this one. I know the limits of Aragorn. I know how, how impressively strong he is. We don't even send him back now. Treebeard, can you support your ends, please? With the last march. What is happening? Let's build some more towers here. Because he's breaking the gate like it's nothing. With the... Yeah. I, I told you. Because the siege weapons, they don't... Take damage from the arrows of your towers. So towers are no good against siege weapons. And of course, if this would be a Gondor base, it would be a bit harder for the Mordor, since Gondor base is just much more tanky, you know? You can even empower it with the stonework and stuff like that, but it is Rohan base. All right, it's the opening number one, two, three, four. So you have only three more to go, boys. Beautiful, we are doing actually a phenomenal job against seven hard Mordors with Rohan and... We are not able to get Army of the Dead. We are not able to recruit the Rohan heroes. We are not able to get stable. So pretty good. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's build towers first. I mean towers. There was no rules for the towers. And you will need them, you know, to kind of protect your base. Because eventually, in order to win this game, you need to move out from your base, right? And when you have no towers, no protection, and you have like 80 command points, you cannot afford to leave like one battalion inside your base. It would be kind of like a bad idea. Hold on a second. It's now more ends. Tribit is still alive, right? Yeah. And also Tribit is able to heal up over time. These ends are almost gone, so... Luckily for us, the ends only cost 10 command points. While Elven Warriors, for example, they cost 20. So for one Elf, we can actually get two ends on the field, you know? Which is amazing. Look how much pressure. Look how much pressure he's putting on us, boys. And again, Rohan Towers are not the greatest towers of all time. Hey, there's Fire Arrow. What the heck? Kill this Fire Arrow's ends. When he's burning, he will take damage over time. Eventually, he's gonna die. And unless you put him on a water. But water is not existing on this map, so... Let's use Darkness. So now we gotta make three armies. So we gotta make an army or a group with elves and Legolas. Talking about Legolas, we can use three Narches one more time. And we will make Aragorn for a single group because he's a, again, he's like a one-man army. And then we will make ends with three beards for a group number three. And why are we doing that? Glad you are asking because we need to send in the ends first. Since ends are extremely tanky against arrows, they can tank those level three structures and towers from the enemy base for days. 
seemed like Aragon, but even more than that. So now enough team time wasted. Vist I would like to uh, clean up the right side first, and we can then, you know, move on to the left side. Okay. So we have two opponents on the left side, but only one opponent left on the right side. Got a command points gap, but now we have three ends, two ends, and three beards. That's dope. We've also the Elven ally summoned from the spell book. Kill this Oryx first. Oh my goodness. Okay. I mean, we have full towers. Yeah, I'm not worried. I should not be worried, I guess. <laughs> Let's use Cloud Break to actually stun them. Let's see if Catapults. I don't see Catapults. So. Okay. Just keep, att keep paying attention around this side. Let's build some more towers for the Wars Keys. Maybe also here, even though I don't think that the space is going to be touched anytime soon. But still, better safe than sorry. We are doing a phenomenal job, guys. Um, we need to wait for the ends. Actually, we can send in Aragorn, no problemo. Let's summon the Elven allies. Aragorn, and once again, pay attention Ara of Aragorn, yes. Watch this. Right click, right click, right click. Auto attack reset. You see? You pretty much save your uh, animation, and I'm not, not, don't worry, I'm not gonna use off breakers. You see? I mean, that's crazy, dude. This hero is like next level, you know? Oh, but without Anduri, uh, with without Blade Master, rather, sorry, it's a bit um, dangerous. So let's use the Elven Wood for more armor. Let's use Heal All. I'm surprised that those. Um, where are our ends at, though? I'm surprised that those. They are so slow. Haradrims, you know, the Haradrim spear throwers are so strong against Aragorn. They are dealing actually a crazy amount of damage to Aragorn. Can you please use your swords? Three beards? When they are nearby to three beards, they will move a bit faster. They will also become more tanky. But not that it matters. You can see three beard doesn't take any damage pretty much from these arrows. Our forces are under attack. Our forces are under attack. Not good. Uh, yeah, we are not allowed to recruit any more units. But this Mordor base is going to fall into darkness. A fine hit. A fine hit. So basically, we have now only two more openings to defeat, and then we are victorious just like that, boys. And yeah, what do you think about that? Let me know in the comment section down below. I've never played Rohan this way. To be honest, I've been playing multiplayer also for many, many years, but my playstyle with the Rohan faction was always relying on the mobile units like Rohirrim, Rohirrim Archers, and of course, uh, like the Rohan mounted heroes, Theodin, Eomer, you know? But never spamming this many elves in any time, in any game. And still, I have the feeling that they are not really strong, you know what I'm saying? Like, what is happening? Does they have catapults? I don't think so, right? So, we should be fine. Let's build this. Farms, 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 farms. And just keep moving on. Rebeard, you also move on to the spot. So, let's group all here first. And we're gonna make a move to the Mordor opening at the top left side. But first of all, let's secure our base, shall we? Because you see, those Nazgûls, they can be quite frustrating to deal with. And in order to deny that... Some protection. This Elven Warrior, though, pretty nice. Darkness has been used. Once again, that means 50% more armor and 33% more damage for the Mordor units for the entire map. But he has only orcs most of the time, so... And they have so many towers now. Should be fine. So basically, let's destroy this level 3 mil, and then we can build another end mode. And again, four ends... Are, no, wait, wait, wait a second, what am I doing? So we need to we need to go to this side. Basically, four ends are going to be spawned for free from the end mode. Four ends we are able to summon from the end allies from the spell book. That makes it in total eight. And we have three ends with three beards. So we, have, we will have 11 ends. Hold on. Which is a lot, actually, you know? Some call me a fine hit. Beard, some call me. But they are so slow, you know, even with three beard buff, by the way. That's the 20% movement speed they get from three beard. You see this animation? This small glowing around them? That's the buff. And they are still so extremely slow. Holy moly. They are only fast when they are raging, you see? Now the uh, Witch King shouldn't be able to achieve too much anymore, even though he's still tanky against this many arrows shooting him at the same time. But it's a matter of time. And he will go they down. Will he would never be able to withstand this Let's match against Gondor Towers when they have the 
uh, laser shots. You know what I'm saying? That's not going to be possible. We shall, not, not, fall. Get we shall not fall. Let's use the Alvin Wood for more tankiness. This Alvin Wood provides us with 40% increased armor. Aragon gives us 50% more damage, 100% more combat experience. And Legolas, once again, can use three archers. The Here comes the end army, boys. But hold on a second. Wait for the ends. Let's the end this game. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right. So basically, oh my goodness. Let's go. I like the ends when we have this many ends on the field. That's dope. Go ends. Go, 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 go. Why are you so slow ends? And we can use the other army because I'm assuming ends are, go are going to be enough to, you know, finish off this base all alone. We can just kill this units first. Aragon. Okay, two of you guys going here. One of you guys. One of you guys here. Please. They are body blocking each other pretty, pretty hard. Big cover, man. Look how much damage they are dealing this ends. Do you see that? Crazy amount of damage. That's what I like to see. Okay, okay Aragorn and the other units are going to this side. Tribit is taking some damage, but generally he's extremely tanky against the enemy structures and unless they have fire he should not die all right the, the ends are finishing mordor this time last time they finished the isengard but this time it is more the last time it was easier because we were playing with the rohan uh, strength of the cavalry which means rohirim rohirim archive in Eomir leadership aragon leadership and then theorin leadership with the glorious charge they can become almost invincible and not only that, but they are also very mobile, you know. Mobility is also quite impressive and important in this game. Which gives you, in a situation like that, the ability to move from one side to the other side quite quickly, you know. Our army has been defeated already, that's good. So we have only this opening left. Look, Legolas is shooting from downtown. We are on the Alvin, on the Tainted Land like a madman. Aragon is taking some damage from the arrows, but it's nothing crazy. We have Atelas, and we have also uh, the heal from the spell box. So let's step up from this land because the land nullifies all the leadership bonuses, which, which we don't have. <laughs> but hey, hey! Oh my goodness! This lets you. Oh no, 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 no! I was almost using it, boys. I wanted to use Elendil. I was almost breaking the rules. But I'm this close to win this game. I'm not gonna do that. You see the damage, dude, from the Elven Warriors? It's so bad. Let's try something else. Let's give them Forge Blades. A fine hit. A fine hit. And let's let them fight with the Forge Blades. Just like in the Helm's Deep, you know, when they were charging with Aragorn. And also, Legolas, you can be the knife fighter. Charge! This is no Orcorn! Aragorn, don't die. I'm telling you, Aragorn. Take them quickly. Take them quickly. Aragorn is just like so strong. His ends are fast from time to time. The wizard will pay. Aragorn is taking some damage, but it's fine. Charge! Stand, man of the west. Level ten, don't die. I mean, you, you are fine. Doesn't matter anyway. The entire map is looking green to me, guys. Ains are throwing rocks. Elves are charging with the swords. What a phenomenal ending for the 1 vs 7 challenge from Stefan. He was asking me to play Rohan without Rohan. To play Rohan like it's the Elven faction. Challenge accepted, but not only that. Challenge accomplished. GG well played, hard army, but you are not that hard anymore, huh? Ains that by the way also without using the army of the dead one time we have not used army of the dead either from the spell book nor from the aragorn the king so no army of the dead no rohirim no rohirim arches no peasants no yomen arches no Tyrion, no eomir no elvin no gimli no mary even at the beginning of the game and still we made it work and for that reason guys all i'm asking you for is leave a like on this video subscribe for more content like this in the future and maybe give a detailed and a great challenge let me know in the comment section down below but don't challenge me to play isengard against uh, seven heart more no don't challenge me to play mortar against seven heart isengards i've tried that and i have not managed to do that it's kind of impossible thank you guys so much for watching i will see you next time until then take care of yourselves and as always keep hitting like a track and also stay beyond standards peace out